happy. Yeah, we're happy. We're all happy. It's our 50th birthday. Happy birthday to you. Here for this century. Happy birthday, Clone K. For you, before you know it, our 49 will go down the drain. Happy birthday to you. I wasn't told anything. I just knew they were different. I knew they were twins, but they were different than other twins that I had met. Yo, yeah, well, our dishwasher we got on Monday, July 13th, 1987. And our stove we got on September 16th, 1991. My parents never spoke about it. And this is Patsy Jack and Vanna White. Yeah, pa yeah Patsy Jack and Vanna White, we got that December 23rd, 1985. And when I saw the movie Rain Man, I said, oh my God, it's them, it's them. An autistic savant is someone that is very, very good at a unique skill. Remembering dates, remembering numbers, remembering names. In some ways, they are retarded and in some ways, they're geniuses. What day of the week was January 14th, 1969? Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. What day of the week was August 12th, 1972? Uh, Saturday. What about January 10th, 1995? Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. They don't forget anything. What did you eat on January 10th, 1994? Oh, for dinner, we had pork chops, we had mixed vegetables and baked potato. What did you drink? I had yeah, mint tea. Yeah, mint tea. But they're never wrong. Their dates are always right. August 24th, 1992. What was the weather like on that day? Oh, we had Hurricane Andrew. We, we yeah. almost said we were going to have Hurricane Andrew, but it, but it blew out. But, but it, it went, went to more. Miami instead. What was the weather like on that day around here? Oh, oh hot. hot. Just like this. Hot. Hot and sticky. As far back as I can remember, four or five years old, they had amazing recall and I used to listen to records with them. Black and white. Three Dog Night. Back home again. John, John Denver. Denver. I gotcha. I am Joe Tex. Day after day. Bad finger. bad finger. They seem to have obsessions and they seem to have compulsions. They keep charts on the clothing that different anchor people wear. All right, here's, here's Charles Gibson, Oprah Winfrey, Diane Sawyer, Dave Wagner. Now this is what I wear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what colors am I wearing? All right, now you've got white and black on now. Is that what I generally wear? Yeah. You keep yeah. track of these every day? Yeah. That and must be hard to keep up with all this. Oh, no, we've been, we've been doing that a long time. How long? Oh, about 21 years. They get stuck on a particular subject. The examples that I would use with them, Dick Clark is a classic example of rigidity of thought. They are obsessed with Dick Clark. They, this is a, they, this is what we use for our personal savior, and but their main thing as our personal savior is this, <laughs> Dick Clark. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. From Television City in Hollywood, this is the one hundred thousand dollar pyramid. Well, we started to watch the pyramid on on. May 6, 1974. Um, the woman who rode naked, yeah, the uh, Coventry, yes. Now we have our papers in front of us and we write everything down. So you're gonna go unstrapped this time? Unstrapped. Unstrapped. Un you're going unstrapped. We, we, we still count the buzzers and the bells as usual. Yeah, three buzzers and 46 belts so far. Good, great. Now get it, now get it this time, now get it. Oh, very exciting. It exercises your brain. And it makes it smell like rubber. <laughs> they were signaled out because they were different. Most of the neighborhood kids would pick on them. They would always use the colors of slow poke, goofy, like just like what our mother did. Well, she was never diagnosed, but I, and I believed that she was manic depressive. 
having twins that were born handicapped, it must have been really hard for her. So I think she suffered depression due to that. I know my mom tried to commit suicide and take us with her. But it, but it was one time, quarter after three in the morning, she woke us up out of a sound sleep and said, I had to come out down in the kitchen with me. She sealed off the kitchen and turned on the gas oven. Okay, Mommy and Daddy were coming to see you. I think I became sort of a parent when my mother and father passed away. I took responsibility of the girls. We all decided to live together. Everybody in the family misses you and everybody says hello. Very sheltered. My mother wouldn't allow them to work. So they basically stayed home most of their lives until I moved in. And now we kind of live, we're living on the edge now. Have a nice day. We set out a journey to be somewhere on New Year's Eve. We're on our way to see Dick Clark. We've been watching Dick Clark since we were little girls. Tell Catherine the best wishes, Dick Clark. It's a treasure, dear. Treasure? Yeah, it's a treasure. They knew it was going to be the last time he's hosting this show that they watched for 32 years. Well, we just filmed it, it was nice that he stepped in, but he didn't do a good job, like Dick Clark does. Not as good as Dick Clark, though. You know, in the place they wanted to be, to see the man they wanted to see. Oh, yeah, you're beautiful. I wanted them to see this for so long, and we're there. It was, it was, I guess it was, I felt complete. It was perfect. This is a nice one. You guys want to take one? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're good. Come on, Vincent. Hand him a flower. It's a little on a strange side, a little weird and strange side. Being, uh, being at our 50th birthday without Janie, and so, so it's a, we're trying, we're trying not to be emotional, but it's, it's, a, it'll be like, it'll be like moments that, that will be emotional. Just hope for them to live the rest of their lives happy, and let them uh, enjoy life for what it's worth in their eyes.